30 modern military aircrafts of the Russian Federation destroyed by Ukrainian army, according to some Ukrainian telegram Chanel's. As they designated in the Directorate of Strategic Communications, we are talking about, 9 Su-25, 1 Su-57, 2 MiG-31, close to 13 Su-34, 1 Su-35, 1 Su-35S, 2 A-50s, 1 IL-22 M-11, 1 Tu-22 M-3. The number of aircraft, their models and modifications, as well as the location of the attack, is indicated intellectually. Some of them might have been shot down, or they might have turned back to airfields for major repairs. The Russian military's tactical aviation is comprised of several main types of aircraft, most of which are derivatives of the Sukhoi Su-27 fighter aircraft. In addition to the Su-27 itself, the Russian military has Sukhoi Su-30, Su-35, and Su-33 fighter aircraft, which are primarily intended for air-to-air -air combat. Meanwhile, the Su-25 attack aircraft and the Su-24 bombers are primarily used for engaging ground targets and bombing, respectively. The Su-25, Su-24, Su-27, and Su-33 are no longer being produced, meaning that the loss of such aircraft can only be made up for by restoring them at storage bases or by new types of aircraft. The Su-34, one of the most commonly used aircraft by Russia in Ukraine, is also a derivative of the Su-27. In Ukrainian publications, it is referred to as a fighter bomber, but Russians consider it a pure bomber and equip bomber regiments with these aircraft. Another fairly common type of fighter aircraft is the MiG-31 Heavy Interceptor, a specialized type of fighter aircraft designed primarily for intercepting and engaging large, high-altitude, and fast-moving aircraft. A small number of MiG-31s have been converted into hypersonic missile carriers for Russia's air-launched Kinzhal ballistic missiles. Finally, the Russian military also has a handful of 50th-generation Su-57 fighter aircraft, as well as three derivatives of MiG-29 fighter aircraft, the classic MiG-29, the naval variant MiG-29K, and the multi-role MiG-35.